Hey class, I'm Mr Thornton, you've got 11 days until May, and I'm going to help you succeed in your GCSEs. This lesson, reviewing your progress. It's the 20th of April today, which means if you've been following this series from the beginning, you've now done 20 days of revision. That's a lot. It may not feel like you've actually spent that long working on this, but seriously, you've been doing a decent amount of revision if you've been following the tips which I've been suggesting. I'm hearing the same two things from a lot of people though, and it's completely normal, it's completely typical for this time in your revision. Those two things are, firstly, people are really struggling with motivation at this point. That's because you've been doing so much revision. And secondly, people who feel like they've done a lot of revision, but it's not going in. So I want to take some time out today to quickly address those two points, to look back on what you've already done, and to build your confidence a little bit. Firstly, those of you who feel like whatever you're learning, it isn't going in. You are almost certainly selling yourself short. So long as you're sticking with it, it will be going in. You will be learning. And over the next week or so, if you started back at the start of April or even earlier, over the next week or so, you're really going to start noticing that you know more now than you did back when you started your revision. The easiest way to tell whether or not you're learning is to be doing those past papers that I suggested back in the first week of these videos. Keep a track of what marks you're getting. Keep a track of where you're going wrong and how you can improve. And as you go back over those past papers, you'll find that there are bits of them, maybe not all of them, but there are bits of them which you now know which you didn't know before. And as you keep going over things, you'll keep getting better. With all the things which you're learning at the moment, it's the same as with anything which you learn. You've got to go over it a few times. The first time you do it, you're probably not going to remember very much. You might recall 5 or 10%. But as you go over the information, you'll be strengthening those memories. Remember, although some of your exams may be at the start of May, the bulk of them will all be in the middle of May. So we've still got a few weeks until most of the exams are taking place. You've got time to keep going back and going over what you've already learned. Strengthen those memories. And as you do that, you'll start to feel more confident. It's just at this point where you've really got to take my word for it and keep pressing forwards. It will start to get easier. You've gone through pretty much everything at this point. You've got a pretty good idea of what you need to know. And it feels like, oh, I don't know much of that. Stick with it. The next time you go through, it will be a lot easier. And the next time after that, it'll be even easier still. You won't even need to spend very long on a decent amount of it. You'll be able to focus on the bits that you find tricky and really maximize your scores. You are nearly there. So just push forwards, keep going. And within the next week or so, I'm sure you'll start to find that actually, you know more than you thought you did. As for those of you who are struggling with motivation at this point, again, completely normal. Those of you who've been revising for a few weeks now, you're probably getting a bit sick of doing revision. It can be quite repetitive. What you've got to focus on is the end. You've got to focus on your goal because you are so close to the end. The GCSEs are a little bit like a marathon and you've been running that marathon for a couple of years now you are about 500 meters away from the end. Now 500 meters, it is a bit of a stretch. If someone said, run 500 meters, well, unless you're in really good shape, you're gonna be a bit out of breath, it's gonna be a little bit of a struggle to do that 500 meters. But out of an entire marathon, that last 500 meters, that is relatively easy compared to the whole 26 miles. That's where you are right now. You just need to push yourself towards the end. The end is very, very nearly in sight and you've just got to find it within yourself to go a little bit further. Not a lot, just a small amount. And you will get to the end very, very soon. If you are feeling kind of bored of, for example, making notes at this point, then switch it up a little bit. Change your style. Do something different. I've already suggested several different techniques in this series. So have a go at something else. Make some flashcards. Try an app. Do something different. Do something which is going to give you a little bit more variety and that will help keep you interested. Also, focus on what happens after the exams. After those exams, you've got a nice long summer holiday. 
you're going to have plenty of time to spend with your friends, to watch TV, to play video games, to do everything which you like to do. Maybe even watch some science videos on YouTube if you're feeling really enthusiastic about getting ready for your A-levels. It might help if you tick off the exams as you do them as well. Most of you will probably already have had speaking and listening exams in whichever language you're studying, so tick that off for a start. And as you work through them, keep ticking them off or keep crossing them out on your exam timetable until there are none left. It's going to start going really, really quickly soon, so you will find it easy to get to the end. Plus, as you start ticking off those exams, those are subjects you don't need to revise anymore. You're done with those it will start getting easier and it'll start feeling like you're going downhill pretty soon. Finally, I've had quite a few people joining me recently who are worried that they've left it too late and are worried, is it even worth starting revising at this point? Revision is always better late than never. It is never too late to do some revision and the more you get done, the better. Look back through this series Skim those videos, don't go into huge amounts of depth, don't waste an hour of your time watching all of them, but do have a look at some of the revision techniques, particularly how to make notes, how to make flashcards. You can get yourself caught up. If you put the work in, if you focus, and if you get your head down, you have got time. Stay confident, keep going, you are all nearly there, and pretty soon, you'll have finished. I hope that video really helps you. If it did, it really helps my channel when you like, subscribe, and share these videos. Let people know I'm going to succeed in my GCSE. All the links and info for this video are in the description, and please let me know what you thought in the comments or on Twitter at MrThorntonUK, or use the hashtag SucceedInMyGCSE. There are loads more GCSE science videos on my channel too. Here's another one which YouTube thinks you might find useful. You can click my picture just here to subscribe, click down there to check how well you understood with the Snap Quiz website and app, and you can click just here to get my revision guides. Good luck in your GCSEs everyone, and thanks very much for watching.